Hello, this is Victor and here with a new uh, part on the painting tutorial of the start bake, part 5. And now I'm going to show you how to do these back spikes. I was um, balancing different color choices, I want to make them different from the blue. And I decided to go for this purple. So this is... Let's see if we, I can focus in a little bit. So this is the choice I did, sorry, for the spikes. I did some as a test to see how they will look like. Let's see if I can focus here with that. Okay, so it's mainly on very dark purple with some um, highlights with uh, going up to quite a light purple. So I will do that the spikes on that color, and I will show you first how to how I will show you how to paint them. So the first step that we are going to do, we are going to use um, Nagarot Night. Okay, and we are going to paint all the spikes with Niagara Night. Okay, so it's quite a very dark purple. We are going to use this color on the different spikes. This step have not any have not any type of I would say of a mystery or technique. Is just keep the paint thin because remember that these spikes already have the blue layer and the wash so we don't want to clog the details and we, we are going to paint this I keep the middle ones on the blue these ones in between the, the, the spikes and the scales between the spikes I keep, I keep them in blue I will just I'm just going to do these spiky scales or these or these spikes that we have in the in the drake. So I will do that. This have not mystery. Just go. I, I'm using really a, a detail brush at the moment. I don't want to to risk um, dirtying any of the scales that we already painted before. Okay. I really want to avoid to have to do some. Um, clean up or some yeah, to, to need to repaint some of the scales that I already painted. So I will I will be doing that. I will apply this Nahara night on the spikes. I will do this now off camera, but you you can imagine that no nothing special here. So here you have maybe I move camera now. So, just applying really a thin layer of Nahara Night on all the spikes. So I will do that, and I will be back once this is done. So as you can see, now all the spikes are painted with Nahara Night, and the next thing we are going to do is we are going to use Noon Oil, and we are going to wash them all with Noon Oil. Uh, yeah. Again, I will use a little bit of bigger brush, no, not too big, because I want to avoid to dirtin the the blue. So we want to be precise, okay, and just darken the spikes. Okay, you can see one side. The other side, and the back, and we are going to do, be doing that for all the different spikes. So again, I do with a very heavy wash. Yeah, okay, I make a mistake. If you do, if it happened, what happened to me here that I mistake it, it's you clean it before it's dry. Okay. So I will be doing that. All the different spikes. Again, this is going to be another long work. Well, when you 
paint this type of miniatures, spike by spike, scale by scale, can be quite long. But I think at the end, the look is good. So yeah, I will not spend more time here on the video. Just I will wash all the spikes, all the purple spikes on the hell on the start rate and I will be back once this is done and dry. Okay, as you can see now, the wash has been applied and is dry. And now the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to use Shiro's purple and we are going to highlight the different edges of the spikes. So let's do here some examples. What I mean. So I will do this ones here on the top, see if I can show you what I mean. So you can go with the brush almost horizontal and highlight these type of things. So the, the different ed edges or facets or how you want to call it of the so for example here we are going to do this one. Okay. And again this can be quite a long work when we have to do all the spikes like that. But in that case if you want to have some sharp highlight I think it's the only way that, that will work to be fair. So and then Okay, I'm doing another one now. So I will do two in front. Uh, if that happens that I make this small mistake there, you have you can use Naharu Knight to correct any mistake that you do. Okay. So I will do this too as an example. I will do these two spikes as an example and you can uh, understand that the rest are going to be done in the same way. The, the rest are just iterations of the same work. Sorry, I'm going. It's difficult because I try to zoom in, but then my, my plane of work is really limited. I also zoom over here at the back. Okay, this is what you do with Shadows Purple. Next, we are going to use. Jen Stiller Purple We are going to do the next, we are going especially to highlight the top Here at the top, you can go down here. Okay. And 
here on this side. Okay, and we are going to do, there is like a, another change of direction of this pipe, so we are going to do now some touches here. Uh, sorry, I'm on again off camera. So I will repeat it on this one. On this point here, what do we have? Okay, like a small angle. Okay. And lately, the last step, we use the color lilac. We apply the color lilac on the top. Really, just on the top. We can make another small touch. Here. And here. Okay. Then we can work a little bit more with the steel and purple to do a little bit here on the sides. Just a little bit. Okay, let's do this side. Maybe more visible in the camera. And this is going to be so. This is the way to do the 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 different uh, spikes. So I'm going to do all the spikes that you see here on the drake like that, and I will show you once they are done. Okay, now the gems are all painted, as I showed. Okay, and you see here how they look like. So we have the gems also on the tail painted, pick up, following the same technique, finishing with the gems at the end of the tail. Okay. So here you see, this is a fast tutorial, just to close up, uh, I need to break it from, from the uh, painting the armor plates. But here we have part 5 finish it. And yeah, I will just give you an introduction for the next part. I've been working on the head. This is going to be the next part. And this is what you're going to see how to do this in the next part. Not finished yet. So that's all for now. Please uh, comment, like if you have liked it, share uh, with your friends. Uh, and yeah, and. If you want, just with that you can support my channel, and if you want to support further my channel, I have a Patreon account where you can uh, give me, some, uh, yeah, you can support me also in Patreon if you want. For now, that's all. As usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later. Bye.